Welcome to the Dirk Hartog Island Landing Strip. In that small plane behind me, a very famous Australian. If you've ever turned a television on, I'm sure you will be familiar with this great man. Let's go and say good day. Hey, Ernie! Yeah, mate. How are you, man? I'm good, I'm good. How's yourself? Good. What's with all the fleece? Mate, tell you what, it's cold and that air conditioning coming down. I'll tell you, you get up there down south, mate. It's cold. You, look at you working on your tan. Ready got, to go. Got the tan going now. Yep. Have you been to Dirk Hartog Island before? Long time ago. Long time ago, yeah. yeah well, before this was all flash, mate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's it used, pretty... to be a, used to be a quiet fishing spot. Now the whole world knows about it. Not yet, do they? Well, they're going to when we're finished now. When it comes to fishing, eh? Scale yep. of one to ten, how are you? Can you go lower? <laughs> no, but I'm sure you can. Mate, right. I've lined up two vehicles. You've got your choice. Let's go. Let's go. So you're going to bust the shorts out, Ern? We're going to see those pins? Oh, you can see the legs, mate. Yep. Absolutely. Get ready for all this. How cool is this for a vehicle oh, of choice? Put in, mate. Whoops. This is a Dirk Hartog Island sports car, mate. Oh, good. Happy days, we're Happy here. Happy days. Well, Ernie, I picked you up in the limo. I've turned the weather on for you. All you need to do now is catch a fish. I'll try. You reckon I could? I'm, I've got a bit of faith. I've heard you're a very good angler. Yeah, which angle are you talking about? That's a trouble, <laughs> mate. <laughs> My fishing stories are very few and far between. Well, we've got a very long journey, so okay. start telling me your fishing stories. Right. Once when I was fishing, there was this fish right about. One of the things that I do, I'm a freshwater man, you see. Yep. This saltwater country. So it's sort of like a homage. We get some nyaya or sand and we rub it in our, get our smell and sweat on it and we say who we are, where we come from, and we're only just passing through. So I'll say, mother, why are you doing more of another? Mother, jump in and up. And then chuck it in there. By the time the sand settles on the bottom of the water, any spirits in this area here know it's me, and they'll look after me. Are you going to look after us? Well, I hope they do for some fish anyway. You know what? Hang on. I'm after a big fish, Ern. So yeah. it's... Say who you are, where you come from. Paul Wrestling, Melbourne, Victoria. And passing through. Just passing through. And hopefully catch some big ones. I'm a believer. If you don't believe, you don't receive. What oh. you plumbing? <laughs> a foot there, you know. Go, Ernie. <laughs> Over the top, mate. Yeah, let him take off a few of these fellas. I just got hit then. Oh, look at the mackerel down there. How cool was that? You grabbed my little flick boat, mate, dropped it down and bang. Aren't they, they pretty fish? Play for a while. And look at his mates behind him. They want to have a go at him. They want to have a go at him, absolutely. Not as good as this way, the old... Oh, a couple of mates behind him as well. They're everywhere. Come out of here, come out of here. Is this what we want? Look at that. That is it. Oh, and Mr. Dingo. There you go. You are the man. Oh, look, look at the colours on him. Aren't uh, they just incredible? And those mackerel species, mate, they go quick. Like, as soon as you hit that plastic, how hard did he run? A few fins down there. Soft plastic. No, <laughs> no wire. But you were lucky you hooked him right in the corner of the jaw. Good work, mate. Oh, that'll be a snapper. <laughs> I've got a fishing problem here. I've got a snapper on that rod and nothing on this rod, so I think I'm going to swap. <laughs> we just saw a school of tuna bust up. This is a nice fish too. Just saw a school of tuna bust up behind the boat. Solitary fish bouncing out everywhere. So always the way I put my rod down with the squid on it and it gets whacked straight away. And this actually feels all right. That should be all right just sitting there. And what a magnificent day. Like, they talk about just getting out and enjoying what the ocean and nature has to offer. Well, when you've got a day like today, Ernie, just how magnificent is it? Beautiful sun tanning weather, mate. 
That's a beautiful red coming up there. Look at that snapper. You can see the blue on the pectoral fins, the blue on the tail, and those magnificent blue spots the whole way. That is just a magnificent fish. Absolute red gold. He's pinned by that front hook, so he should be fine to lift. Well, that's a serious red. I tell you what, when you get him a bit closer, that is a nice fish. I'm struggling just to hold him there. Hang on. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That is a beautiful snapper. He's got some real weight to him. And can you believe, whilst I was fighting this fish, tuna busting up everywhere, wowee, that is the sort of snapper we're looking for. Ernie, come and check this out. Oh, mate, it's a fish. It is a fish. Now, you know what fish it is? It looks like a little snapper by that head. He is a snapper, mate. He's got the noggin. And the great thing about snapper, whether you live in Victoria or Western Australia, you can catch them. They fight hard. People sometimes say they don't eat so good, but one this they size. They do eat good. You'd like to chew oh, this yeah, one? Yeah, I'll chew on that one tonight. Well, because you are a very good friend, Thank I'm, you. I'm going to let you have this for dinner. Oh, good. You can have the line, I'll just have the fish. Yeah, if you could catch me one of those tuna, I wouldn't mind some sashimi either. Tuna? Here I come. <laughs> oh, yeah? Under here somewhere. Here we go, mate. Good work, eh? Just a few fishing rods here. I'll yeah, that's for you, mate. Think about chucking extra lines out, I <laughs> imagine. <laughs> and we just bounce it up and down off the bottom? Yeah. Done well. Oh, that's a nice hit. Oh, eat it, eat it, eat it. Yeah, I just got jigged too. Oh, no, he's still there, still there. Is there? Yeah, I can see a fish. Just keep whining. Yeah, oh, what is it? Ooh. It's a little one of those, mate. A little one of those things. <laughs> Ooh, I like the stripes. The little, little GT stripes. Little Spanish flag. little fish down there, Ernie, yeah. and they're coming in, they're attacking the squid. I've just got to wait for that big one to come along. But what I did, I put a bit of fish on the end of my squid, so hopefully that's still on there for a big fish to come through and eat. They're definitely little pickers there now. See that rod tip just going bang, bang, that little fish? Yeah. What I want is that big one to just come through and just load the rod and start taking line. Oh, that's that. the one I wanted, see that? Oh, yeah. How good was that? You better hook him this time. Oh, I hope so. I think I've hooked him. There he is, what do we oh, got here? Crikey, what do you got there? I don't know. No? Oh, it's a Rankin cod. These Whoa. fish are magnificent eating. I've only ever caught him in Exmouth. He's just spit up his lunch. And that is a Rankin cod. Isn't that a pretty He's fish? A pretty fish. Nice little blue tips on it. Aren't they beautiful? I'll try and hold him without him spiking me. Look at those blue wow. tips, isn't it pretty? And mate, these things grow huge. Yeah. Reef dwelling species, absolute bucket mouth. Why don't we get some baits in here and see if we can't find a big one, eh? Yeah, he's got to have a mum down there. He's got it. That's what you call a mean bait. That is the double squid fish fillet combo on two hooks, Ernie. How could they resist? You don't need a sinker with that, mate. <laughs> I threw it in, the tide just come in. Now what I've got here is a magnificent little Talica 8 by Shimano. It's one of my favourite overhead reels. It is just so sweet, nice and compact in the hand, but plenty of power. I'm running 30 pound orange fins braid off it, so I can feel every little bite that takes place. And the rod is one of the T-curve. Oh. Whoa, nice mate. A T-curve revolution, 702 offshore. And Ernie, you are on my friend. Oh yeah, okay. That's a solid fish too. Oh yes, that's a nice fish urn. Oh. Now, lots of little bites then, or just good ones? A uh, little, 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 little ones, like you said. Let it, let, leave it there with the little bites. And you come back and nailed it? And come back and nailed it, yep. Oh, mine just did the same. Lots of little bites. Oh, uh -huh. these are good fish. And this is the beauty, Ernie, yeah. of this drifting we're doing. These guys from Unreal Charters at Shark Bay, they do a lot of this. They've got marks everywhere here. I thought I noticed a couple of X's on the water. Mate, everywhere we go there's X's and they literally just say, nah, not this spot. And isn't it amazing here, drop on a new spot, Ern, and straight away, bang. Bang. Hey, that's a really solid fish you got there, mate. Yeah, I know. I can see my fish in the water. Yeah. Um, yours is a lot bigger because it's still fighting. Mine's actually coming up. Oh, it's a beautiful snapper I've got oh, here, mate. Oh, boy, that's a nice Look big Look at the size snap. of that. Oh, He's right. a lovely fish. I reckon yours is a better fish, mate. There's that a is a nice fish here. I'm going to grab the net, mate. Flashing going on down there, mate. 
Oh, dinner! Oh, Eddie! Take your time, take your time. That is a nice snap. And just drop that rod as you wind. That's it, and slowly lift him up only when you can. Oh, what a stonker. Okay, stop whining. Slow him towards the net. Get in there. Ernie, dingo, yes. this Whoa. is your life. Don't leave me hanging. That is... <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> that is a mother. That is a beautiful snapper. Just check that out. Now, I have to ask, is it the biggest snapper you've ever caught? That's the biggest. That's the only snapper I've ever caught. <laughs> That has got to be the biggest. Well, what a way to start. How's the size of that tail, Ernie? That's nice. what gives him the power. He's a big, fat fish, and Don't look at that. Grab him. That's single hook. Now, watch those spikes there. Maybe just yeah. get your hand under there like that. Yeah. Get your hand under there. That's it. Just slide it in. Fit firm first. That's it. Oh! -ho! Mate, that is a great fish. How's the fight when they really start they to go? They really do start going off, do they? Now. Yeah. For people watching who've never caught a snapper, because up until three minutes ago, you'd never caught a snapper. Nah, this is my a, only smallest snapper I've ever caught. A couple of Ernie Dingo's top snapper tips. Here we go. What are they? Patience. Patience? Let the little fellas have a little nibble and wait for the big woofer. Woofer. That is a nice fit. So the bottom fishing rig I'm using today is quite complex, but it works a treat. I've got a bit of 80 pound line there, which is my shock tippet. It comes down to this great big crane swivel. I love it. Then 100 pound leader. Now that 100 pound leader, you'll see there's four little enviro weights tied on that leader. The deal with them is they're actually made of steel, so they corrode if they break off. And they slide between my swivel and this knot, which stops them from sliding down towards the hooks. On the end of this 100 pound, there's a simple loop. That is then attached via a loop to my short leader. And on that short 80 pound leader, I have two Eagle Claw 60 hooks. They're both circles. The benefit of this setup, one is snelled there, the other's tied to the end. They present a bait very effectively. They don't allow it to bunch up. And when you get a fish come along, you've got twice as much chance of catching him, which is pretty good when your name's P-Dub. I'm going to try something a little bit different. This is one of the new dog tooth squid jigs, but not a squid jig to catch squid. This is a metal jig that actually looks like a calamari, and I reckon it's going to work. Let's give this a crack. It's designed to go straight down, and when you lift it and give it a jig, it just flutters around. The guys in Queensland have been using something similar for a long time, and they reckon they are very, very effective. Here we go. It's just a matter of just jigging like this. Oh, yeah, gotcha. <laughs> That's a nice fish. And that was, oh, 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 that was the very first drop as you saw. And there's a lot of head shakes going on there. This is very, very light gear. I was fishing with Lloyd Lyons in the Abrolis last year and he taught me about ultra light jigging. And this is just a tiny little Shimano CI4. Beautiful little revolution rod. And how incredible is that? This is the only one of these particular dog tooth jigs in the country. What do you got? Oh, I can't see it yet, but please tell me when you can. I'll go around this side. There's some big head shakes there. Oh, I'm loving this. Must be getting close, mate. Oh, I gotta watch the bottom of this boat. It's very rough. Yeah. And I gotta be careful I don't let my braid touch the bottom of this boat. Oh, oh what happened there? Hey? You just come right up. Oh, I'm scared it might be a shark if he's done that. Oh, oh what is it? Oh, what is know. that? It's a trevally. <laughs> Did you see you pop up under the boat? Wow, look at the colours on How it. How cool is that? Oh, what a beautiful fish in that little bubby jig. Oh, hope you've had your weedies. Oh, there's some weedies in this. <laughs> oh. Wow. That was off the jig. That was on the jig. First drop. Now, isn't that just an absolute beast of a fish? I'm just blown away. And, you know, I've been fishing a while. Yeah. Do you reckon I could have had any more guesses as to what it might have been? I wouldn't have a clue, mate. <laughs> I, I don't know how many fish is out there. 